Star Trek is yet another big, arguably once timeless franchise that has been acquired, smacked around, humiliated, executed, and then paraded around like some kind of reanimated husk by the woke. In similar fashion to Doctor Who and its fan base, the idiotic brainwashed activists that actually like the constant social politicking of modern Star Trek go on and on and on and on and on about how the show was always woke and always progressive, just like Doctor Who, and yet whenever a certain Captain James T. Kirk comes up, they have to do absolutely everything they can to change everything about him or just bury him as deep as they possibly can to stop people pointing out the abundantly obvious fact that without James T. Kirk, there would be no franchise for them to desecrate. William Shatner, easily one of the most entertaining human beings on the planet today, has never made any bones about how he feels about, well, actually anything. Uh, and so here he is, the hero we deserve, back once again to point out to the pathetic SJW trash that they are, in fact, pathetic. Hello and welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there. Hope you're having a lovely day. If you find you're enjoying this content, then please hit that like button and don't forget you can also subscribe to the channel if you'd like to support me in the fight against woke BS, media corruption, and all kinds of lies in our entertainment. Thank you very much as we go back to bounding into comics once again with this nice little piece here. Star Trek icon William Shatner roasts Paramount's continued attempts to memory hole Captain Kirk. Quote, it makes no difference to me that a group who think they are enlightened and obviously feels threatened by the character. <gasps> Ooh, got him. Very nice, Mr. Shatner. Now, of course, William Shatner comes out and says all kinds of things. Some of the stuff he says is a little bit crazy. A lot of what he says is just damned well based. And that is good because we need more people spouting common sense in our pop culture in order to stop these woke retards from being able to just dominate everything all the bloody time. Anyway, never the one to let the whining of even his most ardent critics get to him, William Shatner recently admitted that he is unfazed by Paramount Plus's ongoing attempts to erase his iconic Captain Kirk from Star Wars history, Star Trek rather, excuse me fans, history because simply put, he knows he, uh, his, their petty attempts at doing so will have little if any effect on his well-established legacy as the franchise's first leading man. Sorry for saying wars there instead of Trek, I hope that didn't offend anybody too much. It's just that I just made a Star Wars video, and that's why. Anyway, uh, Shatner offered his opinion to Paramount's memory holding of his famous Starfleet captain on January 6th while answering fan favorites, uh, fan questions rather, via his personal Twitter account. Now, some of you may not know what memory holding is. It's effectively just trying to find a quiet way to shuffle someone under the rug in the hope that you'll forget about them while they point and shine big lights on something that they've created that they think is better but is obviously never actually better or even even approximately as good as the thing that they're trying to memory hole which is of course why they're trying to memory hole it there you go the conversation which led to this reveal began when user colm dunphy asked for asked the actor for his thoughts on all the negativity about sir patrick's announcement that there's a picard movie script in the works to which shatner proudly shared an animated gif of disney's snow white dancing alongside the text haters gonna hate and declared i think that a new movie with sir patrick is wonderful news continuing on to the subject of returning franchise leads user het hero strauss strauss weird then pressed Shatner, but will we ever see Captain Kirk again? In turn, the actor shared a current shot of the Paramount Plus's app's Star Trek collection banner graphic. This one, this is something that was really ticking people off recently. In which every single television entry in the franchise is visually represented by their respective leads, save for the next generation, which is embodied by Geordie LaForge due to Picard serving as the face of his solo series, and the original series, which for no apparent reason is championed by Spock instead of Kirk. He cheekily told the fan, all you have to do is look at the Paramount Plus graphics to answer that question. There it is right there. Yes, we can see uh, what do we got there. We've got Janeway and, of course, everybody else. We've got all of the shows represented. We've got Enterprise, Deep Space Nine, right in the bloody back. That's interesting, don't you think? But, of course, front and center, we've got Pike, we've got Spock, we've got this stupid animated abomination from that goddamn awful Family Guy rip-off wannabe Star Trek show. Lower Decks, is that what it's called? And, of course, the Mary Sueist of Mary Sues outside of Rey Skywalker, her bloody self. We've got, what's this one's name? Michael Burnham. 
a woman named Michael who is the key to everything and has been for years and years and years in Star Trek Discovery, an absolute abomination that never should have been allowed to exist in the first place. As, as you can see here, you would imagine that uh, the most important one that should be on this poster right in the middle or at least in the background as a big ghostly image or something would be Kirk Shatner's bloody Kirk because no matter how important Nimoy's spot was Kirk was the star Kirk is the lead it's all about Kirk it had to be because that's the main character yeah I mean it's just it's just insulting that they think that that it's somehow no one's gonna notice the giant glaring absence of the main character of the original series. This is a psyop. It's a woke psyop. You can see it. Right for yourself. Anyway, uh, taking note of user KIC47256's subsequent questioning as to whether or not anyone at Paramount had ever come out with an official explanation to this massive flub, the actor, actor retweeted their inquiry and revealed it's not the first time it's been going on for years. It makes no difference to me that a group who think they are enlightened or whatever they think they are obviously feels threatened by the Kirk character. It's a character from a 1960s TV show. Get over it. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Let's look at all these captains here. You've got... Oh, God, I can never remember this dude's name. We played uh, in Enterprise. But then you've got... Okay, Uhura's there. She wasn't a captain necessarily. Picard's there, Burnham's there, all these wankers from the modern crap that they make. Janeway's there, and of course everybody else as well. But uh, who's representing the OG series? Ahura and Spock. Where's Kirk? Kirk is a bigger and more important character than any of them. There is no Star Trek without Captain Kirk. What are you doing? Anyway, in a follow-up tweet, the legendary actor further assured his uh, concerned fans, it doesn't bother me in the least, a bunch of self-righteous strangers thinking they're sending a message by erasing the past. Who is going to forget? It's everywhere. Uh, it's so indoctrinated that it will take many generations to be forgotten no matter what they do. So let it be. Finally, uh, finding having... Finding himself having said all he wanted to say on the topic, Shatner ultimately closed out the discussion by sharing an animated gif in which uh, Schitt's Creek actor Dan Levy can be seen exclaiming, we're going to move on during his February 2021 appearance on Saturday Night Live. Shatner's next confirmed project, an as of yet undisclosed voice role in Kevin Smith's upcoming Masters of the Universe Revolution is currently on track to debut sometime in 2024. Well, Kevin Smith can go suck one as well because that guy is a fucking huge sellout and a total fake nerd these days who uh, threw the audiences under the bus and sold himself out massively. And um, there you go. I guess that's all there is to say. They continue to try to pretend that Captain Kirk is not a thing. Captain Kirk absolutely is the thing. There's no way around it. There is no Star Trek without Captain Kirk. Yet, they do the same thing to him that they try to do to Luke Skywalker. Make him irrelevant, make him old, make him worthless, and get rid of him. Swept under the rug. Oh, wait, don't look at him. Look over here at this wicked, awesome girl who can do absolutely bloody everything and never fails at anything, and everybody loves her all the time. In other words, a Mary Sue. And that is why this will be doomed, just like everything else. So let me know what you think about it in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to Will of the Fans if you'd like to see more of me. I'd like to see more of you. I'll be back with another video for you very, very soon. But until then, question everything. And I'll see you next time.